Well, hard to believe, but it has now been a year since mobile sports betting was legalized here in New York State, and since then, it has generated hundreds and millions of dollars. Now, state leaders are looking at what went right and what went wrong. Join your sides, Danielle Church joins us. She is breaking down today's big discussions in Albany. Danielle. Scott Mariels, in its first year in New York State, mobile sports betting generated $542 million in taxes and an additional $200 million in licensing fees. Most of that will go to the state's education system, but $6 million of it will go to problem gambling education and treatment, while $5 million will be distributed to youth sports activities. The executive director of the Gaming Commission says there have been 3.8 million accounts created and more than 1.2 billion transactions. Now that's the good news. FanDuel president Christian Ganetsky says there needs to be a more competitive market in the state. New York has the highest tax rate for mobile sports betting at 51%. The national average is about 13%. Now, if nothing changes, DraftKings CEO Jason Robbins says his company will need to make adjustments, which include worse odds, no more promotional credits, and cutting down on advertising in stadiums around the state. Here's the bad news. We do not believe that this level of economic success is sustainable with the current tax rate of 51%. Although it's only been one year since the market launched, there are clear signs that the New York market has already peaked, whereas other states remain on a solidly upward trajectory. If DraftKings has to, is forced to offer worse odds and very limited promotions in advertising, it will be extremely challenging for us to compete with the illegal market. Now, the committee responded to them by saying they can't cut funding to the education system and their arguments are what a budget process is for. Some propose that New York State should consider making iGaming or online gaming legal to help bring in more revenue. According to game company Light and Wonder, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and New Jersey all have iGaming. Those markets grew 51% after introducing it, almost unheard of. The committee say they will hold a roundtable on, on iGaming at a future date, but did not give specifics. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.